some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Las Vegas, Nevada, where we find dumbass Elmo and his little girlfriend as they will get intimidated by a man who actually does something that they don't work for a living. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? Why you taking We're just working. Please step huh? back. Why are you? Please step back. Who are you? No, no. We're working. Are we're working. Who are you? We are you working. We're we're working on a story. Why are you getting huh? so close? No no no. Why you you take my my photo my? We're we're recording you guys. Why why you recording? We have the right to. For what? Which For news mean? purposes. Huh? News purposes. Which news purposes? I've already told you, sir. Huh? We're working on a news story. Which news story? What's mean that? Are are you a security officer here? Yeah. Okay, so can you call your supervisor? Because we're gonna we're not gonna continue answering questions to you. I've already told you, sir. Who's waiting for me? You shouldn't approach people the way you did, by the way. Do you feel dizzy? Do you feel faint? Do you feel like that you gotta run away? Look, dumbass Elmo, I know your uh, fight or flight response right now must be trying to kick in because you are very much intimidated by m men who can definitely handle you and even women that can uh, put you on the concrete. But you know what? If you are really this intimidated, why don't you just walk away? Or better yet, why don't you just run away like you did with that one dude on Alaska? Here, they just can't do it down there. Do you, can, can, do you, are you are you supervisor here? Yeah. Thank you. Uh what's your name, brother? Uh, what's going on? Uh, I don't know. This guy approached me in a very in a very suspicious way, so I'm trying to figure it out. He barely speaks English and he's trying to stop my first amendment, so I don't understand what his problem is. You know that I, I'm okay because to film. I don't like to come in your regard. Well, sir, this is a free country, and we can yeah, free, we can but, film in public. But you can't you can't take my photo, and you can't record me. I just did. I'm doing it right now. But, what do you mean but, I can't? But you can. Yes, I can. I'm I'm, can. I'm 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 literally doing it right no, now. No. Yes, legally I can. It's the no, First no. Amendment. No, no, you can't. Yes. It's America, buddy. Yes. Where are you Where are you from, sir? Well, now talk about hypocrisy, dumbass Elmo. You've been known to throw tantrums whenever somebody gives you a cam back. If you don't like it, then how come you do it to everybody else? Oh, that's right. You're a narcissistic sociopathic control freak. What's your What's his name, sir? Please don't tell me that guy's allied universal too. Oh, allied. He barely speaks English. They can be up here, that's fine. But even we're down there, because we house people, they do have an expectation of privacy, so you can't report down there and you can't report the help. Is this a is this a public road? No. It's private. It's a private, it's private. What it's private road. It's privatized okay. by the city. What What's your name? Mike. What nice to nice to meet you, Mike. So, first yeah, that's okay. Mike, are you a supervisor? Um, Mike. Are you a supervisor? Are you a supervisor? Come on now, dumbass. I'm gonna let the men talk, and especially considering that you are trying to film within a privately owned area. Despite what you may think inside of your own head, the world does not revolve around your tiny little brain. Sir, what is your name? What's yours? Can I have your name so we can talk? Sure. Sure. Are you a supervisor? I'm there, yes. What do you mean you're there? <laughs> Okay. All right. So I have no problem identifying myself. Oh, 
Yeah. My name's Enrique. No, I I know that you guys you guys know what you're doing. You're doing your job correctly. But is this guy Ally Universal? Because I don't see you see this guy is not wearing proper uh, visible uh, uniform uh, to to identify himself as a security officer. He barely speaks English, and and he's getting on people's faces. So either I get an apology or or, or I pull a formal complaint on you. Because what you what you. Okay, so okay, so he is it is it your is, but is it is it your policy to identify yourself as a security officer when getting on people's faces? Well, I n n he's he's not he has nothing that shows that he's a security officer right now. Ass Elmo, you're asking if it's in their policy to identify themselves. Well, dumbass Elmo, you're supposedly well versed in the law and uh, policies and everything like that. Why don't you go ahead and tell us whether or not it's in their policy to identify themselves? Oh, wait, you're not going to do that because, well, you don't have any idea what you're talking about, which is why you get kicked out of so many damn courthouses around the country. I asked him to unzip his jacket. Would that make a difference to you? It does make a difference to the public because you guys already know that. So what's his name so I can complain? Because he obviously he doesn't care. So who do I complain to? Because I, I know where the office is at and I'm going to be going to, to your uh, okay. headquarter office. So I need his employee number or his name. Thank you. Uh, we, don't, we don't have like badge numbers or anything like that. Uh, okay. Well, I, I'm good with his name hey, then. Y'all good though, all right? Thank you, sir. Um, take good. That'll be. I just need, I, uh, Mike, like I was telling him, he doesn't, he, I asked for an apology. He doesn't have to. He didn't, he didn't want to, but then I need, I need like an employee number or, or, or somebody, because I'm going to go to the office, to the main office in Vegas, and I'm going to complain. If not, then don't talk to them at all. Copy. Uh, would you want to speak to my boss? Um, I just want his name so I could complain. Look at little Goblin Jr. Gonna cry? Oh yeah, dumbass Elmo wants to do more than cry. He wants to file complaints on people. Especially this guy. Because, you know, he sees him as beneath him. Because apparently, according to him, he can barely speak English. Come on now, dumbass Elmo. You can't even read uh, English very well. Let alone speak. Speak it. So why are you complaining on somebody who actually works for a living and is tr actually trying to support his family if he has one? Unlike you, a well domestic abuser. I'll go to the office. I'll go. I'll go to the. Can't give out his name, but you can, you can talk to my boss. All right, cool. You want to do that? Sure. You suck. I'm right here. Are you the supervisor? Yes. This is a public area, right? Yes. Sir. Okay. So why is everybody like stopping us and? They said that we could film. He just literally told us that we can't go over there because there, I'm sorry, because there's an expectation of privacy down this there's area. No but there's no expectation of privacy. When you go down, four master, you can record left, you can record right. When you go inside the courtyard, it's an open campus. You cannot record the children. You cannot record inside the offices. You cannot record when there is any paperwork. Is there any office, public offices around here? There's that nothing open to the public there other than that general big area you see right there. Got it. Just the court. So, if you ever been down there, or you ever want to, or Google it, you see where the courier is. That is open to everybody. Okay, well, not thank you. Inside any of the buildings, because it's key card access restricted. So that's not open to the public. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Um, I wanted to call, to speak to you uh, about this gentleman over here. Uh, he approached us in a very uh, kind of threatening manner. Oh, poor baby. Oh, dumbass Elmo, do you need to go home and go to your safe space and get yourself a glass of milk and a warm chocolate chip cookies? Yeah, I'm sure your mother would allow you to come into her house one last time if you don't, uh, well, abuse her like you have done in the past. Or maybe not. I mean, I doubt... Oh, wait a minute. She's got a restraining order on you, from what I understand. Never mind. And we do First Amendment audits. We have millions of people that tune into our platform. And we're just trying to see how respectful security officers are. Uh, you guys are being hired by the, by the state, correct? The city, Las Vegas. By the city. Yes. So this guy, uh, maybe should, you should speak to him a little bit more about uh, public photography in America. Uh, he seems like he's struggling a little bit with the English uh, language. And I understand that maybe in his country it's not legal, but prob uh, probably, I'm not going to assume, but 
I mean, by the way that he acted, I would assume that it's probably an illegal thing or, or where he's from. But uh, just let him know, yep, brother, that you're, that this is, uh, you know, First Amendment protected. Yep, and that's why we have cameras, so we definitely review it. Thank uh, you, my, my name's, name's Enrique. Eric. Enrique. Well, I'm just going to end the video right here, folks, because dumbass Elmo just stands around for the next few minutes talking about really nothing at this point. But at any rate, dumbass Elmo, if you feel like you're threatened, why don't you go ahead and find your safe space under a bridge somewhere and, uh, well cry yourself a little river and build a bridge over that one too or maybe you should go back to alaska and see if you can track down that one man who tried to teach you a lesson that uh, time and maybe you can try to teach him a lesson again if you don't run away again so at any rate guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one this could be some groundbreaking stuff right here Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?